Hey guys, so today's video is going to be part two of my favorites video. Part one was makeup, part two is a whole lot of randomness. There's some clothing, there's some shoes, there's some food, there's some candles, there's some bath products. It's really random, but I think it's gonna be fun, so let's get started. Okay, let's start with food because these are just sitting in front of me haunting me with their sexiness. Oh my god, I just want to eat the whole bag. So these are Takis. If you have never had these, don't feel like you're out of the loop because I had never had them and I saw someone eating them and they're like, oh my god, these are so amazing. So I'm like, I have to try them. So I found them at Walmart, but when I told you guys about it on Snapchat, pretty much everybody was like, girl, I've been eating them for years. And I'm like, where have I been? So I bought four bags off the jump. Like I had not even tried them, bought four bags because I knew I was gonna love them. Oh my God, they're so good. They're so strong. Like there's so much seasoning on them. They're like overloaded. Do you see how like bright red they are? It's chili lime. These are the Fuego ones. Fuego. There's like four different kinds. There's nitro, there's crunchy fajita, which actually sounds really amazing. But I know you can find these at Walmart. Some people said the dollar store have them as well. They're so good. They're like these crunchy little rolled up tortillas. But do you see all that seasoning? Like that is heartburn waiting to happen. I just sip a little Pepto, then I eat my Takis, a little more Pepto kind of painful and you have to have a drink because if you don't have a drink you're dead you will die okay more food this this is so ghetto this is so ghetto ratchet it's like half empty because I'm just an animal and I couldn't control myself so I ate it <gasps> so if you've been with me for a while you know that this has been my obsession this little duo now usually with food I go in spurts. I will eat something every day for like a month and then I get totally sick of it and it's done and I don't touch it again for like a year. But this combination I've been eating pretty much every day. I said every day. Pretty much every day for the past like year, year and a half. So it's the Greek Tangerine Yoplait Yogurt. Wait, let me say that again. This is the Yoplait Greek Tangerine Yogurt. It's very hard to find. I can only find it in one little store that's like 10 minutes from my house, this like little hole in the wall grocery store. None of the other stores carry it. So if you can find this, stock up. Like buy them out, buy everything that's on the shelf. And then the, I hate this word, Aurora. Aurora. Aurora Natural Cranberry Vanilla Granola. I find this at Giant, which is our grocery store chain. It is so good. So you open your yogurt, mix it up, take a big handful of this and just pop it in there and just go to town. Nothing, nothing better. I love this. I will never, I will never get tired of you. Oh my God, there's a little bit left in there. Where's my spoon? Okay, that's it for food. I think, yeah, that's it for food. So let's talk clothing. Now, any of you that follow me on Snapchat, you knew this was coming. You're not surprised. You're like, damn, that bitch has been wearing that shirt like it's going out of style and I'm sick of seeing it. So I'm having a dusty rose month. I just want everything that I wear to be this color. I'm obsessed with it. We overuse the word obsessed in the YouTube world, but I seriously am obsessed with it. This shirt is from Express. It's huge. Like for me, this is huge. I usually wear a medium. This is a large and it's like a big large for my body. It's, um, it's one of those like burnout tees. So it's kind of see-through. It's really soft and it's just a long v-neck t-shirt, but it looks so cute with leggings. And I like that the V is super deep, so you can put a bralette under it and it kind of peeks out. It's just so comfortable and so cute. I went out the other night to the strip club because that's what I do apparently. I go to strip clubs, okay? God, don't judge me. Actually, I don't go to strip clubs. That was my first time ever. We kind of went as just like a, okay, we need to see what this is all about kind of thing. And I wore this with black leggings knee-high like riding boots 
and a choker, a choker that I'm going to show you very soon. And it just looked really cute and I put like a distressed jean jacket over it and it's like my favorite outfit right now. So I love these. They're from Express. This color right now is $10 in Express. They have other colors. I have a green one and I just ordered two more online, but they weren't on sale. But if you see these, I will link them down below. They're called the London Burnout Tee from Express, but I'll put it down below. Oh my God. Amazing. Love this shirt. It's like my most favorite t-shirt ever. <laughs> I love it. Another shirt that I've recently fallen hard for, excuse me, eyebrow pencil. This is from LuLaRue, and I had never been on the LuLaRue bandwagon, but one of my subscribers who is a consultant for LuLaRue, she sells it. I will put her down below if you guys are looking for someone to purchase your LuLaRue through. She's awesome. Like, she can find anything. You just send her a print, and she has it within, like, five minutes. I swear she's, like, some magical LuLaRue consultant unicorn person. So anyway, she had sent me a pair of leggings and I was like, oh my god, these are the most amazing leggings ever. I actually have them on right now. Ever since she sent me them, I have since acquired like six more pairs. I'm addicted to LuLaRue. Their leggings are the most perfect, soft, comfortable leggings ever. So she had recently sent me this shirt. This is the Randy which I had never owned one of these, but you guys are like, oh, that's old news. I have 20 of those, so I'm finally kind of catching up. So this is so cute because it has little lipsticks on the sleeves. Like, is that not so cute? And I also have the leggings that go with this, like the same print, the lipstick print leggings, which they're adorable. I don't wear it together because I feel like it's overkill. But come on, if you're a beauty lover, which apparently you are because, I mean, I'm not fixing cars over here. We're doing makeup. So you would love this. You would, it's so cute. And it's called the Randy. I will put everything down below for you guys. I have a large because I wanted it to be big that I could wear it with leggings. But yeah, it's super cute, really comfy. Okay, a pair of shoes that I've owned for like three years, two or three years. These are the Tory Burch Rivas. Now, I have worn these things. I mean, I cannot even tell you how many times I've worn these. They were very expensive. They were $230, which I'm embarrassed to even say that I spent that amount of money on a pair of shoes. But I'm telling you guys, I have gotten my money's worth like five times over. I seriously wear these with everything, with jeans, with leggings. Like, I wear them constantly. They're so comfortable. Now, when you first get them, you kind of have to break them in. They're a little bit uncomfortable. I was a little scared. I got them and I'm like, these aren't even that comfortable. But if you wear them for like a week, they kind of like mold to your foot and then they're like slippers. These are the most comfortable shoes that I own. And I know this is going to sound kind of gross, but I don't wear socks with them and they don't smell, but all of my other flats that I don't wear socks with get super stinky. I know that's probably TMI. I don't have stinky feet. Like I'm not one of those people that my feet get really stinky, but if you're not wearing socks, usually your shoes will get kind of funky. But these don't, they're like magic unicorn shoes. I don't know what it is. So I have two nail polishes. Why am I screaming? Two nail polishes. They actually kind of remind me of sisters. Like, they're not the same, but they could be sisters. It doesn't even matter. Okay, the first one is what is on my nails. This is Different Dimension Tradition. Hmm, you guys, this is gorgeous. It's like an apricot holographic nail polish. Like, doesn't that just sound perfect? So, I love Different Dimension. That is no secret. I've collabed with her. She's a friend of mine, but she makes kick-ass nail polish. So I had this on yesterday and then I took it off last night to like swatch different nail polishes and then I put it right back on. That's how much I love it. I had all of these gorgeous nail polishes sitting in front of me and I'm like, no, you need to go back on my nails. I got so many compliments. Wait, where's my wedding ring? Oh, it's, it's over there. I can see it, but I'm too lazy to get up and get it. Uh. So this launches on November 11th. It's from their Intergalactic collection that's coming out on the 11th. So it's not out yet. Don't go looking for it and be like, Nicole, where is that nail polish? It's not on their website. It's not out yet. Girl, 
11 11 put it in your calendar and this again is tradition and it is one of the most gorgeous holograph nail <laughs> it's one of the most gorgeous holographic nail polishes in my collection and i have a shit ton shit ton just sounds like a dirty word doesn't it and then the other nail polish is from girly bits and this is called shift happens so this is a topper. So you take any regular old nail polish and then you put this on top. It takes your nail polish from, eh, yeah, it's okay, to holy balls of life. That's the prettiest nail polish I've ever seen in my life. It's just this like holographic unicorn. It's a unicorn, it's unicorn pee. It's unicorn poo. Does that make you want to buy it? Probably not. Depending on what color you use as your base, this looks totally different. Like I put it over a nude and it was like a very soft, like fiery look. But if you put this over black, it's like intense and orange and purple and it's just so cool. I'm really into these toppers. Like um, SE Shine of the Times is another topper that I love. You guys know this. I don't know what it is about these toppers. I really, really like them. I like that you don't have to go out and buy all these new nail polishes. You can use what's in your collection and make them look totally different. So shift happens. I know it's out of stock right now. It is coming back. It is coming back. So just be patient. She will bring it back. She's very good about restocking. Girly bits, shift happens everyone if you paint your nails you need this i have two makeup brushes to show you guys i probably should have done this in the beauty video but i didn't so we're going to talk about them now one is expensive one is not expensive so which one should we start with let's start with the expensive one so this one is from urban decay it's the large powder f102 brush i like this oh i almost hit myself in the face i like this one because it's kind of tapered it's not like a super fluffy powder brush. So it's a little bit different. And I've been using, do I have lipstick on my teeth? I've been using this one for like wiping away bake. I've even used it for bronzer. It's really nice if you're using a bronzer just to warm up your entire face and you just, you know, you guys know. This is really good. It's really soft and it's just a good quality brush. Now, when I first got the Urban Decay brushes, <clears throat> excuse me, I was a I was excited, I shouldn't say I wasn't excited, but I wasn't like, oh my god, these are going to be the best brushes that I've ever used. But after using them for a while, I'm so impressed by the quality and just the way that the brushes perform. They're really, really good brushes. Now they are expensive, they're Urban Decay, but they're good and they will last you. Like I've washed mine numerous times, they don't shed and they're just they just hold up well, so I'm impressed. Now this one, this is from e.l.f. And I'm telling you guys, if I blindfolded you, which sounds a little bit scary, but probably fun. If I blindfolded you guys, you would never know this brush was from e.l.f. This feels like a Tom Ford brush. That's an exaggeration, but it's not an exaggeration. Wait, what? That sounds like an exaggeration, but it's not. Seriously, this is one of the softest brushes I've ever felt ever in my entire life. I just, oh my God, it's so nice. <laughs> okay, my battery just died. If I'm in like a different position or the camera's changed, I couldn't get the battery out. So I had to like move my camera all around and hopefully it's like the same way as it was. Anyway. Okay, so back to this brush. It's so soft. It's so incredibly soft. I've washed it a bunch of times. It doesn't shed and it just like bounces back to normal. Some brushes, when you wash them, they're never quite the same. Like they get kind of stiff and weird. This one is just so fluffy and it's such a good powder brush and it's e.l.f. It's super inexpensive. I have this whole collection. The entire collection is good, but this is definitely my favorite one. This is so good. This this body wash has changed my life. Can a body wash really change your life? Like when I get in the bathtub at night, I take a bath, I don't take showers. Is that weird? I think it is, but that's okay. So when I take a bath at night, I get so excited to use this that I get like giddy. 
Does that sound so stupid? I know. So anyway, this is the Sol Janeiro. Sol Janeiro. I have to burp. Sol Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. And the scent is pistachio caramel. It smells... Oh my god. 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 I'm not even exaggerating. I'm telling you, this smells so good. Now, I have the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, which I've showed you guys in a favorites video. Oh my god. I love that stuff so much. This is like its body wash sister. They kind of have a similar scent. This just feels so nice when you put it on. It's very like thick and silky and the smell is phenomenal. I love this. It's kind of expensive. I got it from Sephora. I saw Tati talk about this and she was like raving about it and I'm like I love that lotion like the bum bum cream so I probably would love this. I love it so much. I'm like halfway. I'm so sad. I'm gonna stock up though. The VIB sale is this Friday. This is on my list. So if you guys want to splurge on a body wash. Okay, so I want to talk about chokers. I'm a choker addict. I've really gotten into chokers in like the past month. I just feel like they look so cute. And remember, I was a 90s child. So I wore chokers in high school. And now that they're back, I feel like very nostalgic about them. So I have this one. They're all from Shop Hopes. All the ones that I'm about to show you are from Shop Hopes. This video is not sponsored. I just love Shop Hopes. So I love this one. This is like my everyday super casual choker. It's so cute. Like it just like it add they add so much to an outfit, you know, but they're still comfortable. I don't really care for big chunky necklaces because I feel like they're very uncomfortable. They just don't feel right to me, just to me. So anyway, I love this one. This one's like a triple. It's just three little like braided chokers, <laughs> right? And again, it's comfortable. There's not weird things hanging and bumping and touching. This one is my favorite and I have this one in gold and silver. Wait, let me get myself together here. I need a minute, girl. So it looks like three necklaces when you have it on, but it's just one. So you have your choker, then you have the little balls. Can you see the balls? I'll do, <laughs> can you see the balls? That's what she said. I will do a close up because I'm kind of struggling right now, but it's really cute. Here we go, look, can you see that? And then you, I love this part, the little long. Like if you have a, um, like that t-shirt that I showed you, the deep v-neck, dusty rose, if you put this with that, ugh, it's perfect because this like goes down into your clavage and it just looks sexy but it's still like very casual and cute. I love this choker and I have it in gold. Equally love the gold one. I just go back and forth. They're so cute. I will try to find them on the Shop Hopes site and link them down below and I do have a code for Shop Hopes. It is not an affiliate code. It's just a discount code. Now I have some unfavorites. I love talking about stuff that I hate. Is that weird? Two products from Clinique, which is heartbreaking because I like Clinique, but this Take the Day Off Cleansing Milk, I swear when I first got this, I liked it. I used it a few times and then I kind of put it away. I recently started using Latisse on my lashes and you're not supposed to use an oil-based makeup remover, which I use Lancome by Facil, which is my ride or die but I can't use it. So I tried this the other night in the bathtub. I wish that you guys could have seen my reaction. This burned the mother effing balls off of my eyes. It hurt so bad. I sat there for like 10 minutes just splashing water on my face, but it didn't take my makeup off that well. Like if it would have taken everything off really good, I could have maybe dealt with the burning or at least accepted the burning one time. But after all the burning, I got out of the tub, looked in the mirror, and I'm like, I just went through all that pain and half my makeup was still on. So this, mm-mm, do not like it. And then these, this is very depressing, the Take the Day Off Micellar Cleansing Towelettes for Face and Eyes. Now when I 
Okay, let me backtrack. So I went to Sephora. Actually, I didn't go to Sephora. I was at Sephora online and I got a 100 point perk of these. So there were five wipes in this little pack. Got it home, I used them, and I felt like I really liked them. So I was very excited when I got this. But I do not like these. I kept, I kept using them to try to, like I was waiting for the, the happiness to take over. I used them and I'm like, these are terrible. They're not even taking my makeup off. But I'm like, no, it's a fluke. I'm gonna try again tomorrow. And I did that for like two weeks. And then finally I was like, I'm done. First off, they're very small. Look how tiny they are. Oh, I got two of them. I feel like they're very small. Like this right here is one of my e.l.f. wipes. My e.l.f. wipes are amazing and they're three freaking dollars. Like, look at this difference. Wait, I'm gonna hold them up side by side. I mean, on top of each other. Look at how much more e.l.f. you get. Come on now, ain't nobody got time for that. And these were like $15 and they don't take makeup off that well. Like I would recommend my e.l.f. wipes, these guys, over these any day of the week. So this was a huge disappointment for me. Huge disappointment. This is the Josie Marin Divine Drip Honey Butter Balm. It smells so good. It's honey peach. Oh my God, smells amazing, feels amazing. What I don't like about this is it doesn't go very far. Like I scoop some out, I'm six foot tall. There's a lot of body going on here. So I scoop some out and I start to put it on and it's just like gone. And then I need more. This was extremely expensive. Like I wanna say around like 30 to $40, which for a body butter, that's a lot of money. So the fact that it doesn't go very far is kind of sucky to me. I love the smell, I love the way it feels, but I feel like this is not gonna last me. So I haven't been using it, I'm trying to like save it. So I do like the product, I just, I don't feel like it lasts. Some body butters, when you put them on, you can really stretch them. This one is not one of them. It okay, so I think we've come to the end of the video. I feel like we, Kind of breeze through that, but probably not. I think I just spit. I'm so sorry. Wait, 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 wait. We're not done. We're not done. I didn't talk about my candle obsession. Sit back down. The winter candle that is burning back there. I can't grab it because it's been burning for like five hours and it's kind of hot. But the Bath and Body Works winter candle. Some of you are like, wait, you talk about this all the time. But for my new subscribers you need to know about this. It is the best candle that's ever been created in the history of the world. It smells like pine and clove with like a, a hint of heaven. Yeah, that's a pretty good description. It's an extremely strong candle. It will smell up an entire floor, not just a room, a floor in like 10 minutes. I'm not exaggerating. It is very strong. If you don't like strong candles, don't buy it. It's not one of those that you're like, oh, I get this gentle scent. No, you're like, bam, that shit smells amazing. Was that too much? That is my all-time favorite Bath & Body Works candle. So I've been getting asked a lot to do a candle video. If you guys want me to do like a haul video, because I'm going to Bath & Body Works probably this weekend to stock up to do my big huge winter stock up. If you guys want me to film a haul, let me know down below and thumbs this video up so that I know I'm a candle whore. I will whore my body out for a candle. Okay, now the video is done. Now you guys can go and do what you need to do. So once again, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Mwah. Bye. <laughs> the dog, some days you're the sidewalk. Isn't that what they say? Some days you shit on people, some days you get shit on. I don't think that's how it goes. It's a, it's like, boom. Camel toe for everyone. I'm just not a fan. So I like it, I just wish that the product itself went further on my body. Oh my god, what are you smelling? Oh, I am so 
oh, cheese right now. I have no idea. Cheese like a motherfucker. This is the large powder F. Wait, what? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, this is the greatest body wash that I've ever used, ever. It's like holy grail status, even though I've only owned it for four and a half days. Holy crap. The one thing about leggings, though, you have to wear, like, a longer shirt, at least I do, or else my camel is front and center, like, shouting to the world, look at me, I'm a huge camel toe, which I don't really like. I mean, sometimes, like, some days I wake up and I'm like, the only thing that I want to do with my life today is share my camel toe with the world. But other days, you want to keep it under wraps, because some people don't know how to take the camel toe. They will stare at it and make it feel uncomfortable, instead of just letting it live and breathe and enjoy the mall. Right? Walmart, Target, where are you? Just let my camel toe breathe. Damn! Bitches all up on my camel! <laughs> I took a new bar. <laughs>